Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lean Startup, second month in Seattle. We are talking about why startups fail and what we can learn from them. Hello, my name is Andrew Sorkin. I'm a founder of The New Hive. We noticed that rigid designs and sites cram full of advertising are limiting creativity online. So we've created a site that gives the average user the powers of a seasoned web designer without this technical hassle. You can drag and drop all your media in one place on as many URLs as you want. Thank you very much. A startup called OurSchoolPages.com and this service makes it easy for any school or PTA to create a very rich website for themselves complete with tons of functionality like volunteer signups and online fundraising and uh, PTA membership signups and things like that. And we just launched... Uh, sorry. I screwed you. My name is Charlie Kimball. For the last 21 years I've been at this little startup you may have heard of called Microsoft. Um, I've been become deeply immersed in the startup community. I've been in my bonnet about startups, and I'd like to help. I don't know how, um, so if you're interested, say hi. First of all, the entrepreneur is enamored with their idea, and they think it's better than it is. And they don't want it. They, they go around looking for people to tell them how great their idea is, and to charge on, follow your passion. It's awesome, but it's probably not. And I don't know. My experience, eight out of ten at least maybe 9.5 out of 10. Um, the idea is they want to scratch their own itch. They have no idea whether or not it's just cool shit or if it's cool shit that has the potential to be a business. And you can build the cool stuff all day long. It's fun. It's a good exercise. You should do it. But you know, the thing you should lose sleep over first is whether or not this is actually something that could be a business, a real business. And that requires finding people like Andy to make a mark on you to make you think about your idea. Because your idea probably does suck. Unintended. Unintended. <clears throat> the idea is that I used to be the idea guy, frankly. I was like, oh, my idea, idea, I didn't want it. I was secretive, I signed an NDA, don't, don't want to tell my. It's nonsense. The idea is, like, hopefully you have a good idea so that you can build a really solid team in a really big market that has a hard problem that people will pay for. That's what a business looks like. And until then, it's just, it's just, it's just for fun. Basically. I started out in the first two and a half years I work alone. Uh, the first year, year and a half, I was locked on my house, on my office at my house, and I coded everything and I did everything and I did the design and the marketing and the pitching deck and everything. And the problem with that is you don't have enough people giving you advice all the time. Like when you have a co-founder, it's not like it, it's all the time that you guys are talking about ideas and, and bouncing ideas. I, I have a lot of advisors. Andy was an advisor for my startup, but it's so different when you have more people working with you. Um, Don't if I was an investor, <coughs> if I was an investor, I would not invest in someone doing a startup alone. Period. Like you could not convince a single friend to join you, and it's going to be so much harder because you know there is the ups and downs, and when the downs come, if you are alone. It's miserable. It's really miserable. Largely, like Marcelo, you know, people have, everybody's got ideas. Um, and entrepreneurship is really about um, taking risk um, to see what work, to, to see what works and what doesn't work about the idea and refining that idea. And if, uh, uh, if the wind blows and an entrepreneur falls down, then, um, <laughs> You know, then they really shouldn't. They, they, the, those those entrepreneurs should not proceed. It, um, it it involves kind of kind of involves failure every day. Uh, Dave Chappelle said that success is failure repeated every day, um, and I think there's an element of truth to that, which is you really do bang your head against the wall and fail every day. And if you just keep doing it, um, uh, something sometimes breaks through. My name is Chris Morse, and I'm the organizer of Lean Startup Seattle, along with Red. And uh, we had our second event tonight, and it was wonderful. We had a, several good speakers. I learned tonight 
was that uh, failure is actually a requirement to starting up a company. It's, they, they talked about it as more of a marker than kind of a destination or a result. Uh, it means that you're getting out on the field, you're getting dirty, you're getting beat up, but you are continually getting back up to uh, validate new ideas, new approaches. Yeah. Hi, I'm Bob Crimmins, uh, panelist at tonight's Lean Startup event here in Seattle. Uh, the room is filled with passionate entrepreneurs. I'd love to see that. Uh, Seattle is burgeoning. Uh, it's up and to the right, and it's things like Lean Startup that make a material difference to entrepreneurs. And uh, the guys who organized the event tonight just nailed it. I'm Lisa Goodman, and I'm with the Tech Dwellers space here in Benaroya Companies. And uh, support Lean Startup. Uh, Seattle. It's an awesome event. There were over 100 people here and tonight and people walked away with some great advice to grow their business. Lean Startup Seattle. You have to come out. If you don't come out, you're just crazy. So whatever. Come out. Yeah. I don't have to be logical. Just do it.